Head coach Pat Noonan. Uh, coach, if you want to start with your thoughts on tonight's draw with Seattle. Not our uh, best performance, but I still think the point is important. Um, game was just too too back and too much back and forth with um, our decision making on the ball. It was hard to find a rhythm because of just careless turnovers or um, lacking patience and how we moved the ball and how we played forward. Having said that, we still had um, a man advantage for a period of time where we had some good opportunities to finish the game off and just couldn't find the, the quality in front of goal, the decisiveness, <clears throat> the final pass or touch. So we'll look to, uh, you know, analyze some of the things that we can do better and you know, get our mindset right for a quick turnaround uh, to face Chicago. All right, we'll go to questions. Pat, go ahead. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, Pat. Um, you know, you guys get the point on the road. Uh, you're still in control of your own fate in the playoff push. Those are all things that you emphasize. And yet, um, I feel like the sense is that this was still a little bit more disappointing than you know, the average draw this team has produced at times this season. Would you say that's true? And uh, why why is that the case? I think we've had worse draws this year, <laughs> for sure. But I think, you know, heading into the game, we knew that they would be missing some key players, but it's also a team that um, has found a way to to win games despite key players being out. So we needed to make sure that we didn't lose any type of focus or mentality or understanding that this was going to be a tough game. And it was, you know, credit to Brian and his group. They, they made the game difficult for us and, um, you know, gotten into our final third, I think, too easily because of, you know, some of our turnovers and some of their moments of pressure. And <clears throat> um, I thought we defended the box well in those moments and that's what, you know, helped us secure a point, but, I think it's it's still important that we got the point on a night where it was I I'm more um I think disappointed in the group is in just our our own performance and um and a lot of that being with the ball certainly um which you know allowed the game to get just too open and and not allow us to be you know connected you know, on either side of the ball in a more uh, consistent way. So um, it's a point and it's still an important point. The The positive for me is that the group is expecting to win every game. That's a good mentality. And when we don't, we're not pleased. So hopefully we can turn that frustration in this performance into, you know, a better one on the weekend against Chicago. And Seattle was but, you know, tactically, they were basically uh, at the start of the second half, they were playing like you would expect them to play, given their position in the standings and everything they had at stake, um, throwing numbers forward. And even after the red card, it seemed like they were subtracting defensive pieces for attacking and able to create numerical advantages. Um, how much did that impact the way you guys were would have ideally played? Because that's a different mentality and different tactics than you would typically face. Well, there was uncertainty before the game, just as far as the personnel that was missing for them. So what was their shape going to look like? And, um, you know, where were we going to need to, you know, make adjustments based on just how we prepared for them? So, uh, you know, when they were in the, you know, call it a three, four, two, one, a lot of what we talked about before the game was Montero and Rusnak you know, underneath Bruin and, and how we can get pressure to them in the, in the pockets um, with Nick and with Matt in moments where, you know, Obi and Junior were maybe pushing high and, and they needed to release off the back line or in transition moments, how could we get them uh, facing away from goal? So that was a lot of what we talked about early on and 
um, and two players that can, you know, make the game for him. So I think when we were, you know, um, organized defensively and uh, we did a good job, you know, for the most part, taking them away um, or being able to get pressured them to, to get the ball off their feet. It was in the transition moments when we were careless with the ball where they were able to find too much time and space to, to get them moving forward. And then they have the, the quality and the experience to just connect the right passes to allow them to move forward. So, um, you know, it was something we talked about before the game and, um, and then our inability to be able to have success more consistently with that was how we turned the ball over. So I think that was, um, you know, where we kind of let ourselves down and, uh, and played to their strengths. Laurel, go ahead. Thank you. Um, just as far as not connecting and, and the turnovers, do you just kind of attribute that to an, an off night for you guys or not to throw in an excuse or anything, but did, did the turf impact the passing at all? What, what do you kind of chalk that up to? More on us. Oh, hopefully it was just us being off on the night. You know, the turf, it, it plays a, a role in some moments, but I think there was plenty of moments where that was no excuse in, in our decision making and, and just how we move the ball um, side to side to then have, you know, our, you know, Matt and Nick advancing with the ball in ways where if we got our wing backs a little bit higher, we could, um, you know, get them on the ball moving to goal, or if we could find some central passes, um, you know, deeper with with Obi and Junior um, to then, you know, get us out and, and get us switch and play. Um, we could, you know, be more consistent in how we move forward and got the goal. There were some decent sequences in the first half when when we had the patience and we were able to find Lucho in pockets. We were able to find Brenner checking off the back line and getting Alvaro then moving to goal. But Again, and, and even in the moments where we found success playing through pressure, the final pass, the final decision was just off. And then um, when when you guys, or when Seattle went down a man, uh, you mentioned just you guys did have opportunities at the end. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times it, it gets difficult to, to break teams down when they're kind of accounting for being down a man. Uh, how just how big of a challenge is that? And how do you feel like you guys um, handled that situation? With the ball, I don't think we had um, an issue creating the chances. We created some really good uh, moments to be able to go to goal um, with a lot of space and good numbers. Again, I think it came down to the either the pass, the timing of runs, um, where you know things were just rushed and we just lacked patience you know, on the other side of it, they're going for it. And so when we lose the ball in those moments, even though we have the the man advantage uh, in transition, they were able to connect some passes forward and, and then put us under pressure. So I don't think it was um, us not being able to, to break down numbers because they weren't sitting back. So we found the right moments um, just lacked execution. And, and, and I think they also were able to find, opportunities with the man advantage or a man disadvantage because of um, how we missed out on those opportunities and, and then being able to play forward quickly and um, and go for it with, you know, with with obviously a, a desire to get three points and uh, even down a man wanting to take risks in ways where they could go and find a goal. All right, Pat, we'll go back to you. Thanks again for your time, Pat. Uh, one point versus three tonight and how that impacts the standings and the implications for the next two matches. Does it change anything for you in terms of how you want to approach these? Well, Chicago. We're approaching the Chicago game to win. And it's still, it's it's better than walking away with no points. A point, you know, now creates just a little bit more separation um, with the teams that are uh, behind us in the standings. So. That's still a positive and focus now in the, in the next couple of days is recovery and being ready to step on the field to, to win a game that likely puts us in the playoffs.
Laurel, go ahead. Have you thought about just, um, I mean, the home finale, um, how do you, I guess, just how do you expect the guys will respond and that kind of, it, it seems like it's expected to be a big crowd. Um, just fans are really excited at this time of year. Just, I guess, how, how would you, um, have you thought about just what that's going to be like and, and how, how you'd like to see the, the guys respond leading up to this game? I'm confident the guys will respond. They understand the opportunity in front of them. I think we all do. I think that's why you're going to see a, a big crowd with a fan base that is going to be there to support their team. So I'm looking forward to um, – yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday. I know these guys will be. Um, and hopefully it's a better performance where we walk off the field with three points and and we can all enjoy a special moment together. Obi, just to start out, could you give us your thoughts – on the result and uh, what the team is thinking after uh, after the draw. Well, what I can say is um, this wasn't what we planned. And again, in the game, we had chance also to 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 do more than we did, and we we got a point. It's not so bad, but we wanted to get three points, and I and I I felt we we had the chance and. We lost it, so now we have to to keep going to the last game of the season. And Obi, Seattle was in their situation in a very desperate spot. Did it feel like you guys were playing against a team that was maybe just more more desperate to win than you were? Well, I I feel like in the position where they are right now, they are desperate. They need to win. And we also, we are we also desperate. We need to win. We need to 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 secure the, uh, a playoff um, spot. We need to seal it. And um, I felt this game is is um, the both teams we are desperate to win, and um, the the both teams um, gave it all to. And then at the end, we we share the points. All right, we'll go to Laurel Failer. Laurel, go ahead. Thanks. Thanks for your time, Obi. Um, it seemed like the the passing and the defensive half was looking pretty good early on. Um, you guys were possessing the ball well, but then as you guys moved forward, it just seemed like the the passes weren't connecting. Why did you? I guess did you feel that? And why do you think um, that was an issue today? Well, I I can't really say because we we had a game plan. And our game plan um, was to, to to play from the back and then play to attack and then got the I, I felt we were so good we we missed our final passes, which I can't say is um is anybody's fault because I, I saw it's everyone is trying to connect the passes, but sometimes it's it's not um going as we planned it. So I felt today it wasn't um it wasn't very good for us as we planned. How does this um, result kind of, I don't know if you guys have, are already looking ahead to Saturday, but you guys have the home finale. Um, does it feel like that puts a little bit more pressure on that game for you guys? Yeah, of course, we know. We know that this is what's gonna happen. That was why we, we tried our best. We, 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 are, we came into this game, you know, having in mind that we need to, to win. We have to try as much as possible to win. Uh, it's going to um, make our next game a little bit easier. But as we can see, we couldn't do that. So now all eyes and then um, all concentration and everything is to recover and then go on Saturday because that was that, that is the, almost the most important game now for us for the season. All right, one more each if you have one. Pat? Yeah, please. And Obi, thanks a lot uh, for your time. Safe travels back. And uh, my question is just regarding how you feel physically right now and how you think the team feels physically. Uh, it's been a busy period for you guys. You've been to the West Coast of the United States twice in, a, in uh, I guess, nine, you know, eight, nine days here. Um, how do you guys feel physically? Well, I, I think um, we had, um, we have time to recover. Like, you know, we, we came in and uh, two days before the game, and we, we trained here yesterday, and then um, 
I think we had time to recover. So physically, I, I feel we are good. So physically, I think that is, is not a problem for us because we we the group is complete. Everyone is okay. So we have extra body on the bench. So I feel physically we are we are we are good. We are okay.